Today we will be, be reading Elf Pets, a St. Bernard tradition. Millions of snowflakes flutter in place, each crafted by water and lighter than lice. They shelter a secret and fill up the sky as elves swirl and twirl as they fly. Beyond the gray veil of this thick winter snow, the Christmas star shines with a warm, gentle glow. As, and as is the custom, when clouds finally clear, Santa, Santa's village grows silent and all gather near. According to the legend, when the star first appears, the elves stop and measure the world's Christmas cheer. This Christmas spirit of faith, hope, and love shines down in bright beams on their, them from all above. This moment's importance cannot be denied, for without Christmas spirit, the sleigh doesn't glide. The scout elves can't fly, and the toys don't get made, and the Christmas Eve flight couldn't be delayed. So every year, the North Pole awaits the state of the world's Christmas spirit update. When Santa steps forward, it's time to begin. The findings are finished, then given to him. We've measured and tracked the world's Christmas cheer, and the truth is, my friends, I've seen better years. The North Pole was stunned, except for a few that, who tried then to guess what Santa might do. The spirit of Christmas is deep in the soul of what makes us magical at the North Pole. We have to be certain there's no more concern and this star shines brighter each year it returns. Ruff! Comes a sound from the edge of the mass. The crowd slowly parts. A great dog walks past. Could it be Barry, this old St. Bernard? The watchdog of Christmas who serves as its guard? Everyone whispers and clamors to spy this great fabled dog as he walks by. Some say he's as old as Christmas itself, and a friend of St. Nicholas, the eldest scout elves. Their eyes meet, they nod. Then, without a word, they turn as a thunderous howling is heard. On the mountain behind them, all the way to the crest, stands an army of dogs with strong, puffed-out chest. These pups have assembled to rescue the soul of the holiday season and save the North Pole. Barry barks out to assume the jolly of old elf, but Santa reminds him, reminds, you can't do this yourself. The children are needed. They must do their part to work alongside with you, alongside you with joy in their heart. Friends, Santa calls out. The legend is clear. There's only one way to build extra cheer. When the heart of a child, where love is most true, ordinarily shines, them hope will break through. You see, offers Santa, when children are kind and choose to do good and their inner light shines, and then they won't see it each t and though they won't see it, each time they try to carry out kindness, their light will supply. An invisible trail of holiday cheer. You, you'll scoop up it. You'll scoop up and store it whenever it's near. That light from within it is both fragile and dear. It eliminates sadness and conquers most fear. So use your brown barrel to lock it up tight. Keep it safe and secure till Christmas Eve night. The elves celebrate. The reindeer do too. Both Barry and Santa have found a way to store up the ascensions, the spirit they'll need to ensure unity mans mansions will always succeed. Wait, says an elf. How does a cheer get back to the star after each year? 
Santa and Barry reach out their arms together. They offer a tiny heart charm. With a one, two, three, up, it's tossed into midair. It pops like confetti in cold Arctic air. It breaks into pieces, ringing like chimes, and places a charm on each barrel it finds. Kids will adopt you. Kids will adopt you and give you a name, Santa says to the dogs, as he also proclaims. They'll cuddle and snuggle to show belief which you will give, which will give you your magic on each Christmas Eve. You'll wait at the window and patiently find the star from the east watching over mankind. The beam from the star will drift throughout space, then softly descend to your golden charm's face. Your barrel will open, the treasure inside of faith, hope, and love will swirl round outside. The heartbeat of Christmas, its spirit and cheer, will climb to the star so that year after year, the magic of Christmas will gently increase, and with it, the chance for goodwill and peace. Ho, ho, ho! I will offer glad tidings and joy with Christmas blessing for each girl and boy. Okay, so we adopted Barry. Um, we welcomed our elf pets, St. Bernard, on December 1st, 2020. We chose the name Spot. And we promise to do good and carry out acts of kindness to help build Christmas cheer. And we got Barry with our elf on the shelf, whose name is Peppermint. She also gave us this book. So here's Barry. He's very cute. Er, no, Spot. <laughs> Keep calling him Barry. But his name is Spot, so... Yeah, that's a book, and yeah, that was Elf Pets, a St. Bernard tradition. I hope you like it, and have a Merry Christmas. Goodbye.